You say Lucado, I say Lucado. Let's call the whole thing off. Nothing like starting off with a joke a whole three people might actually get. The Christmas Candle is based on the Max Lucado book of the same name and follows an 1800s town in England where legend has it every 25 years a special candle is handed out that grants a miracle to its owner and what happens when a new pastor comes to town who doesn't quite buy into the idea. So question, do you know who Max Lucado is? If the answer is yes, have I got a movie for you? If the answer is no, well, we might have a little work to do here. Lucado is a Christian author, and yes, this is an explicitly Christian movie, who has a way with using word pictures and metaphors to tell stories and impart wisdom. He's really a brilliant writer and thinker, and I've enjoyed much of his work. But does this beautiful book translate to a beautiful film? Actually, yeah, kind of does. I think they did a decent job with this. Now, I'll start with what I think is the best thing here and work our way through. And that's that the story that, even though it takes place in the 1800s, deals with the concept of modernity versus miracles or technology versus theology. It uses a fairy tale charm to present an issue that I believe most modern people of faith deal with. Does God still work through miracles? It also pleases me to mention that most of the acting in this movie is pretty good, which is certainly not usually the case in these kinds of flicks. Maybe it's easier to act when it's 1800s English, but I thought the cast conveyed these characters in very honest and believable ways. Even Susan Boyle, best known for her England's Got Talent audition and not any kind of acting career, seemed to capture her character well here. Still, the movie's not without some of the typical issues. Mainly, the pacing is just too methodical. It's one thing to embrace a slow pace when the story can carry the momentum itself, but there's no purpose and how slowly one scene leads to the next in this. It's unfortunate because this one thing takes what is generally a pretty interesting story and just makes it kind of boring. Especially in the second half, I found myself often feeling like there was plenty of chaff left that the editors should have cut away. At the end of the day, The Christmas Candle is a beautiful story that seems to be well acted and thematically engaging despite the unfortunate boredom that lingers throughout. I think I'm willing to go with a B minus. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. You can stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. First, I want to put some stuff up over here that you can click on. If you want to subscribe, hit that big gray subscribe button. Also, if you're looking to see more reviews, you can click up here to see a review of the new Hunger Games or maybe the Vince Vaughn comedy, The Delivery Man. You can also click on the logo right up here to go to yourmoviefriend.com where you can search by title for reviews. And finally, this review's best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify what my choice is. So here you go, name the best movie ever where fire plays a central role. Mine might be a hard one this time, but it involves the song Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. Be impressed if you can pull that one out without searching Google. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe.